Hello, fellow changers of the world. Imagine if making the world a better place was as easy as pressing a nice giant button that said upgrade on it. By now, we'd be living in a utopia of perfection. World peace would be gained, we'd all be relaxing by the pool and having a grand old time. Then, reality hits and we are brought back from the world of imagination, having to reside back on our home planet Earth. There is a vision that all generations of people share, and all generations of people want to gain, and that vision is simple. They want to make the world a better place. There are many different approaches on how to tackle making the world a better place. And today, I will be talking about three main points. First being environmental sustainability, the second being education for all people, and third being the power of youth and youth engagement. Firstly, according to the IPCC, or the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Control, their most recent AR6 synthesis report states that human activities, principally through emissions of greenhouse gases, have unequivocally caused global warming, with global surface temperatures reaching above 1.1 degrees Celsius, or about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. This figure explores the chain of emissions to resulting warming of the climate system and how humans are responsible for the many activities that contribute to global warming. Shown in panel A, GHGs or greenhouse gases are quickly on the rise in, these, in recent decades. Many different things are attributed to these rising emissions and as seen in the graph, they are still on the rise. Because of the increase in greenhouse gases, the Earth's surface temperature has also risen. There are things that humans can do to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases that are released into the atmosphere, such as driving less and burning less fossil fuels, such as oil and natural gases, and burning less solid waste. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA, the last decade has seen a drastic increase in the release of greenhouse gases by 43%. <clears throat> Secondly, a quality education for the people would make a massive difference in day-to-day -day life. Things as simple as conversations with another person to solving the world's most prominent challenges would be better if everyone had access to quality education and invested teachers. According to UNESCO, or the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, around 244 million children and youth don't have access to education at all. Access to education should be a right in itself. Education is the most powerful tool by which one can transform themselves into a better version of who they want to be and can be happy knowing that they have the knowledge to last a lifetime. Another issue, issue facing education is not the educa education itself, but teachers. Teachers are facing burnout now more than ever. Teachers have incredibly heavy workloads, including things like lesson planning, grading, administrative tasks, and extracurricular activities. Managing these activities within limited time frames could lead to severe burnout and stress. This survey conducted by Teachers.com, and it shows the most prominent causes of burnout in today's teachers. Among the issues that they face, intense workload and administrative issues were among the top causes of burnout. Not only do we need to focus on better quality education, but we need to address the overwhelming issues facing teachers. Teachers are the backbone of many countries, leading the forefront of children and young people's education. Without teachers, there would be no way to express and preserve, preserve our knowledge and ideas. Progress of the expanding world will cease and there will be no learning. <clears throat> Thirdly, we need to empower the new generation of young people. Millennials, Gen Z, and Gen Alpha are the new generations that hold the power. We are the future of the world and we'll be the ones creating new life-saving gadgets we will be the ones exploring the world and seeing what the world has to offer. And we will be the ones who mold the future into whatever we want. We the people hold the power to change the world and that's what we need to do. According to the Center of Information and Research on Civic Learning and Engagement by Tufts University, youth engagement can lead to increased academic performance and improve social emotional well-being. It helps young people build skills and networks that are valued in the workplace and can thus be a source of economic mobility. <clears throat> Finally, the linked principles of environmental sustainability, broad, broad access to education, and the power of youth involvement serve as the foundation of a more equitable and prosperous future. We build the path for a sustainable and inclusive society by instilling a sense of responsibility for our planet, ensuring that everyone has access to quality education, and inspiring young people to be change makers. Let us use, utilize the collective energy, enthusiasm, and creative youth combined with comprehensive education and sustainable practices to leave a legacy of resilience, harmony, and prosperity for future generations. 
Together, we can turn our dreams into reality and create a world in which every voice is heard, every mind is educated, and every environment flourishes. Thank you.